10. Joe, he's a good guy. 2009, 10. No, 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 when I was the age 9, 10. Bro, what did the video was this? Oh, no, when did you start? So when, when I was did you nine, start actually was that? making that like, music? How old? Man? I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm not just here like, blah, 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 blah. that was one of the first views he's done still. He, had a, he got right. a nigga from the UK. Yeah. It's the same thing as Trinity. But that's, that's better. Listen, 100%. Do you think you can beat him up? 100%. Huh? Do you think you can beat him up? I'm not they talking about that. Five, because I I'm, 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 I respect the Funky D's. I respect Funky D's legend. So I've been thinking about a few things. So I was coming back from, from work and I just, like I'm recently single, so the person that I tell everything to isn't there no more. So it got me thinking about what is it? Why is it? Why did that hit me at that moment? Obviously I didn't have anything particular to say, just someone to talk to, even if it's just rubbish. But I thought, what is it? And I thought normally, obviously like I have my things to complain about. So when I started thinking about the things or the like, people that I complain about, and it just the dynamic shifted within myself in terms of like well, I don't have to complain about these things or these people because it's not that big a deal having that person that I could complain to almost made it a big deal because that was my outlet when I'm thinking hold on I could just easily just see this person or deal with it differently I just felt some growth in that moment that I didn't have because I didn't have that person to turn to so that their function not it's not their sole function but one of the functions that they serve I didn't need that functioning 
I don't need that function. I didn't need it. I don't need it. As in, I can cope with the things that I complain about. Um, I also have the outlook of things never end. Just something new begins. So it's not that I've lost that. It's that it's given me the opportunity to be able to do something different. It's one of them that we can have a sink or swim. So sinking will be probably complaining about not having no one I can talk to. Or not having nobody I can talk to. I felt like I said that wrong. But yeah, it, it gave me solace and I felt good, basically. Like I felt safe, let's just say solace. I felt like safe and okay. That I don't need, not just that person, but I don't need really need that. And it's something that how I used to be. Like when I like was in therapy, like I built myself up to this place where I didn't actually need these things. I'd like to voice certain things, but I've got to a point now where I'm just a complainer. And I've been a complainer for time now. Probably like 18 monthish, if not more. So I just got into this habit. Things were affecting me. I just got into the habit of like gabbing about it. And that's it. I just got into this. So I wasn't like really dealing with things and things. Something popped up yesterday. What was it? That's probably led to this. Because as that thing popped up, I can't remember exactly what it was. But I thought, hmm, that reminds me of how I was. I was like that at one point. And so that was it, fleeting moment, whatever, just carried on doing whatever I was doing. But as I was actually thinking about things on the way back from work, quite a long drive, I thought, yeah, the, the, situa the things that I talk about are not that big, but I've made them big. And it's not that, that the person I used to talk to about these things has actively tried or has actively kept me down. That's not what they've done. They're supporting me in that moment and giving me what they think that I needed. It was what I needed. And, but it's being around that. Me making, making that my go-to, they're supporting that go-to, but that go-to is not helping me grow. So, yeah, able to be able to move on a little bit more now, deal with situations more how I used to, because I've just become some kind of like, just a poor coper. Just not, not poor coping, because everyone's poor, like coping's different. And obviously mine's not that poor, because I haven't reverted to like cigarettes or weed or drink or anything that would be when this cause of concern for me but it's just in terms of like just having like a negative view on things that negativity lasting way longer than it needs to because i can just think my way out of it in a sense but that's not a good thing also as well like it's, it can be good it can be bad but it's just having that understanding to think right okay that's it's just literally what i was saying in my podcast episode 67 i believe it was but having that understanding to be able to move on where i've lost some understanding but gaining that little gem earlier in terms of like who I've got around me and what I'm doing. Like they didn't start this, I started this and I've kept myself in it. So yeah, it's something to keep thinking about and to put into practice. Not just think about it, understand it for the moment. It's about understanding it in the moment and then thinking of ways of dealing with X, Y and Z. Because there is a few things that do, well, that, well I'll say do, because they, they do get under my skin a little bit. And I've been quite, not reactive, but I've been, it gets at me and it irritates me. And it's not that it shouldn't, it's just that it doesn't have to. Obviously, I'm not going to say it shouldn't because it does. So that means it can, it, it, it will, but it doesn't have to. I don't have to take it like that. I don't have to feel like that towards it. And if I do feel like that, I don't have to have the, the matching thought patterns with that match the feelings and that, that keep the circle going. Yeah, I can feel it, but then I need to switch it by looking at it differently and managing it, managing myself differently and my interactions with these people. And these things, they give you power, like strength, like obviously not physical power or whatever, but it's like, it gives you control over your own life and you just, you can feel the control and even a confidence that comes with it of knowing that that's how I'm gonna cope and that's how I'm gonna deal with this situation here. It's just something to think about.